Kuombe wa Kristo msiombe kuna vitu sitao sitafunguliwa estate yenu hivi. Kama hakuna wacha Mungu, mgoje kile kitaendelea. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. There is people who cannot wait you. Somebody who can ha, hana patience. Na ukiona mtu hana utulivu na kukugojea, jua anakula service na itago take away. Anatakaga ready made. Naongea na mtu hapa leo siku ya leo. Pokeni neema in Jesus name. Amen. Kitabu ikafichwa. Tafadhali wa mama, hata kama hamtutaobeana, adikia watu wawili kutoka leo. Mzee abia mama, mama abia, abiana hata simu ikipia. Na usibiripu tri, wacha kubiripu piga. Kama ni kuadika adika, tuamushane. Maobia kuamushana, tulikabe vitabu yetu saa sita, saa saba. Kwanzia saa saba, mpaka saa nane. Tuamushane, ukiendelea mpaka saa tisa. Kwanzia saa saba, uomukea amukeni, tulikabe our book. Kuna mtu hapa alipoteza kitambu inaitagwa lavery. Kuna mtu alipoteza kitambu inaitwa well done. Haujaipata mtu akikwambia congratulations. Haujaipata mtu akikwambia well done. Haujaipata mtu akikwambia sorry. Hoi nafsi yako ilichukiwa. When you are leaving the ground that everybody hates you, you will you, you lose all the book of sympathy. Ezra 1 Kitabu ya Ezra 1 Kitabu cha Ezra mlango wa kwanza Mustari wake wa kwanza Ikawa katika mwaka wa kwanza wa Koreshi mfalme wa Ujemi ili kwamba neno la Bwana alilosema kwa kinywa cha Yeremia lipate kutimizwa Bwana akawaamsha akamwamsha roho yake Koreshi mfalme wa Ujemi hata akapiga mbio katika ufalme wake wote akaandika pia akisema Koreshi mfalme wa Ujemi asema hivi Bwana Mungu wa mbinguni amenipa falme zote za dunia naye ameniagiza ni mjengee nyumba katika Yerusalemu ulioko Yuda basi kila mtu katika nyinyi nyote mlio watu wake Bwana Mungu wake na awe pamoja naye na akoe mpaka Yerusalemu Ulioko Yuda akaijenge nyumba ya Bwana God bless you. Wa Israeli. Luka Ezra 6:22. Kitabu cha Ezra. Ezra mlango wa sita mustari wake ni wa 22. Wakaifanya siku kuu ya mikate isiyotiwa chachu kwa furaha kwa muda wa siku saba kwa kuwa Bwana amewafurahisha na kumgeuza moyo mfalme wa Ashuru awaelekee ili awatie nguvu mikono yao katika kazi hiyo ya nyumba ya Mungu Mungu wa Israeli Amen Bwana apewe sifa Bible inasema hawa watu walikuwa Babylon ukisoma Nehemia hiyo nane, utapata yote nimeenda nikikata walikuwa Babylon na Bible nasema Ezra alikuwa tunaitaga hao watu wa Liberian. Na alikuwa mwaminifu katika nchi. Ujue ni ma, alikuwa machiko wa mateka. Lakini katika slavery akapendwa. Hata kama uko mahali kuna ugumu waje. Kitu moja kubwa sana ni kupendwa na kupokelewa. Hai together? Na yaweza kuwa huja overcome situation sa 2023 because wewe unaobea potential ya skill zako. Okay, sasa hizi mmejaa kanisa huku juu na chini na hivyo. Waweza kuwa haujainipokea sofa. It is because of push of somebody. It is because unafia mtu alikuleta hapa. Come on. Ama under pressure. I know. You know, you know, pastor akisimama hapa, aweza kuwa hata si mimi muko. Lakini yaweza kuwa muko hapa, mtu alikuja hapa ameanza kutupokeleane, atatoka hapa na neno. Lakini kama Ule alikulete di unampenda mzazi, lafiki yako, ama, ama kunae kitu. Waezaka because of pressure yake. Lakini siku vile pasa na nena kitu mzuri. Ama kutoka wakati tuliangalia, hakuna kitu mzuri unaona hapa. So, kuna wakati tunasubmit situation, it is because of under pressure, but it's not because we love the situation. Am I coming? So, I pray today, in the interaction for the remaining 62 days for 2023. All the many years that you taka duniani, may God give you the grace of 
received and accepted. Because to be welcomed is not to say that you are received and you are welcomed. Tuweza ukaribisha wewe, lakini hatuja kupokea. Ama? Hata weza poke, weenda enda mahali. Ukae tu hapo. Wewe muka, hey, karai, kaeni hapa chini. Lakini huja pokelewa. Baibu inasema hapa, Ezra hata kama alikuwa mwana mateka. Mufarume wa ashuri, alimpenda sana. Na akawa rabiriri ya ni wahuko. Na yeye, alikuwa akiendelea hivi, Ujue anafanya tu kazi ya kukura hata kama ako. Babu yangu alikuwa mupishi wa wasugu wakati wa korone. Na alikuwa mutu wa bae alikuwa tajiri sana. Ngobe na busi ya kwanza na gari ilikuwa kwa babu yangu. Mashamba ile makubwa ilikuwa ya babu yangu. Juu kutoka kwetu ngambo ile kuteremuka hivi. Lakini anko yake hawakuwa salama. So wakati alitoka kwa musugu hawakuwa anaelewana na governing law machifu na wale wengine so machifu na watu wale wengine walishukua mashamba yote akabakisha kanusuweka alipolitaya kwa hivyo na yeye aliandikisha wale wengine baada ya yote alibaki bila shamba alikufa na kashamba kadogo why kule amependwa lakini kwao hajapokewa ni lazima uangalie kile unapigana nacho yes i have a, a good profile i have a good title i'm anointed man of god lakini kijiji sipendwi so kabla niobewa shirika god anga hii katike nianze kupokelewa hallelujah because you can lose you can lose your potential when a fight ukufe kabla huja achieve esra alipendwa Semeni kupotukulikapa kitabu ya kupendwa. Amen. Sida nyingi mko hapa hata wesaenda hivi. Do a death to war. Na wewe unapigana. Upendwi. Upendwi. So wacha kushida uki, ukijipondoa. Abia bwana napigana na hii hata kama kuna medhari ya wakikuyu hata mimi si kama si wana huko inasemaga ya kwamba eh ya, inasemaga ya kwamba kiobani kiobana ga kile na igoto inasema hivi romantic man eh romance somebody with angonia ama <laughs> i don't know ile those romantic men hiyo ni medhari ya wakikuyu sijui nini waliona at those romantic men hata kama wako wachafu hata wakoaje the romance people lakini hata kama na wale wamefaa masuti hawapendwi kiobani kiobana kana agoni so there is people automatically they are accepted. They are received. They never fight wherever they go. So, baby in Ezekiel 16, nae akawa na roho habari ya kuzaliwa kwako hakuna jisho lilikupenda. Nafsi yako ilichukiwa interservitical station. Ninamaliza nikisema namna gani? Ata kama hapa Ezra alipojua wamechukiwa na dio wako Babylon what happened alienda kwa mfalme akamuomba juu unanipenda nisaidie uniadikie barua he take advantage ya kubeba Babylon na akaenda haraka hakumwambia nisaidie na gari alimwambia najua weakness i build the wall are you together because when they see my progress they hate my progress Akanza Jerusalem wall means kujenga weakness yako before people see it Akajua ya kwamba watu wakichugulia progress ya Jerusalem ndio wanakuwa na uadui hide your potential that is building the wall are you together hey, hide your secret that is building the wall don't talk 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 everywhere don't people know you are secret akabia mfarume Nimegudua hawa watu wananichukia wakijua the potential in me wakijua vile ninaendelea give me permission to build the wall building of the wall of weakness uh, of Jerusalem is to hide your potential akaanza kuvisha akaanza kuwa hadi expose hata mtoto akipita mtihani ushindi ukiadika posting hata ukienda America 
ujipigi ukienda kwa show photo me ukienda ukila nyama photo show ukienda kwa wapi selfie wewe wacha selfie wewe wacha jenga Jerusalem jegeni Jerusalem mtoto akinunua kinunua kiatu eh ukijengwa ukinyolewa vizuri kingiri akata is nice na ujue kuna brogas kuna mahanehemia na Santa Barati wanagojea kuona wiki point ukienda kwa cho tingli na hede daruka chidwe jenga Jerusalem jengeni abia jani wacha kujitania wewe wacheni kujitania wacheni kujitania sasa abia jani yako wacha kujitania wewe anza kujaga Jerusalemu ya nyumba yako jenga ukuta wewe si kila kitu eh ni selfie amen bwana yesu apewe sifa eh miba ya siku moja ukinena uko na miba watu hawataona kama uko na miba wataona tabia ya jana ama kitendo ya jana lakini ukigoja ugoje ugoje watu wanasema amebarikiwa jegeni ukuta jegeni ukuta kanisa jegeni ukuta kwa jina la Yesu Kristo amen haleluya tuko pamoja hebu tusome katika kitabu ya second chronicles mistari ya 34 tumalize hiyo tu hainyeshi saa hizi Mungu atatufukusia na hapo. Juu ya hii. Lakini hatuwezi yoba sana, acha ni kuangalia. Hata ikinyesha ni sini mzuri. Sini Eronino. Mtaki Eronino. Sasa ni nini nini? Kitabu cha mambo ya nyakati wa pili mlango wa 34, mstari wa 14. Nao walipotoa ile fedha iliyoletwa nyumbani mwa Bwana Ilikia kuhani akakiona kitabu cha Torati ya Bwana iliyotolewa kwa mkono wa Musa. Akajibu ilikia akamwambia Shafani mwandishi kitabu cha Torati nimekiona nyumbani mwa Bwana. Sikilizeni, hebu sikilizeni, semeni kitabu yote ilikuwa imefishwa. Kitabu yote. Okay, if you calculate 336 BC. Calculate eh na po, uh, na 706 BC hiyo ni miaka 400 ama ya 300 wa accountant wako hapa hiyo ni miaka 300 kile kitu the, the, the google map the direction ile iko imefichwa compass yako labda ilifichwa january 2015 bible inasema kitabu ya Musa ile walikuwa wamepewa iwaogozage kilishukuliwa kikaibiwa kikafichwa map yao jo kila mtu anaishi hapa duniani Inasema kuwe na map ya maisha yake. Bible inasema second Chronicles 34 ya kwamba semeni kitabu kikafichwa. Kuna mtu ako hapa kitabu ya mwaka huu ya biashara ilifichwa. Mkiruka yeye uhuru ruto tano tena kitabu tano igie kitabu ya progress ikaibiwa. Kuna mtu ako hapa graduation ya watoto Ero kamando imani wale imani wale ten oh mliniambia nifae guo hii ni ile pole pole sasa hii oi pole nikiwa na hii guo sasa ni lazima bwana yesu apewe sifa bishop hallelujah are we together people of god tuko chonjo sasa goga goga kisho ambia mungu nionyeshe kitabu yangu iliyo fichwa ya wana wa israeli ilikuwa imebebwa na musa lakini hirikia Walificha kitabu yao. Mungu nisaidie. I recover my book. The academic book, hello the book, financial book, business book, friendly book in the mighty name of Jesus. Asani kupokea vitabu zenu siliyofichwa na hairikia. Vitabu siliyofichwa mkanyang'anywa mapenzi, mkanyang'anywa biashara, mkanyang'anywa ufahamu, mkanyang'anywa maisha. Start recover your book now. Jehovah anaenda kukupea kitabu, kitabu ya afya, kitabu ya biashara, kitabu ya upako, kitabu ya urafiki, kitabu ya maendeleo. Bwana anaenda kuwabariki. Haleluya. 
Kuna mtu ana shida akitabiriwa. But your book was hidden on the store. Somebody stole your book for the intention watoto wasiedere. Somebody stole your book for relationship yako na bwana yako. Musipedane. Mukienda kufugua via pamuri hapana. Kama mimi niki hapa nitakutana wewe wakati wa mabaya wakati wa mazuri unasahau unaona mtu ni kama nugu unamuona kama ni shetani unamuona kama ni kitu badala ubuk ukubuke the book of love eh baby nasema uibobora kitabu the songs of solomon anamwambia anamwadikia mpenzi wake anamwambia when i see you i see them oh bishop when i see you i see you like a mountain hallelujah praise the living god Hallelujah are you getting me Bwana Yesu apewe sifa they recover the lovely book poke ni kitabu ya doa abaye bwana ana uwezo alioficha dio mpigane kwa doa Jehovah Mungu wetu afanye mulikave vitabu zenu vile muliongea mkiwa haidawe vile muliongea bila mama yako kuwa bila sista yako kuwa Jehovah Mungu wetu awapatie vitabu hizo broka wakaingia biashara yako na watu wabaya wakaja wakakokosanisha na mtu ili anafaa ikaingia second chronicles 34 thank you inasema na wao wakienda Ezra akasema na tumeona kitambu iliyopo tulipopewa na Mungu mlimani ama kila mtu kuna kitabu Mungu alimpatia ya maisha wana wa Israeli juu walikuwa innocent Musa ndiye aliwape mnakumbuka tena kwa mabidi mete napo akiwape ikue direction guidance eh huh? na meditations na direction akawapatia kila mtu wako hapa kuna kitabu Mungu alikutolea wakati ulizaliwa Haro uliposoma kuna kitabu ya maisha vile maisha yako itakuwa ikaibiwa ukabadilishaniwa Bible inasema kitabu ya kwanza ya Jacob na Isaka Esai Bible inasema malaika alikuwa amesema watoto wawili taifa bili mmoja atakuwa mfalme na mwingine ufalme lakini mukunga alipoenda Jacob akatoa mkono akafugwa akarudisha akizaliwa wa pili hakuzaliwa Jacob alizaliwa Isao ama tara wa muite firstborn badala wa muite vile Mungu alikuwa amesema the king of other side and the king wa muite Jacob is a Greek word means conman amenyang'anywa kitambu ya kinghood ameitwa amepewa kitambu ya wiz how many people mulio hapa mulikuwa bright in school how many people mulikuwa watu smart beautiful hope of the family a mother to somebody a a show show grandmother grandpapa to somebody ah father to somebody lakini saa hizi unaitwa sankelenyo hii saa hizi unaitwa maguago saa hizi unaitwa kimuze kibaba imagine majina ya kibaba mnaitwa kibaba kigine <laughs> Mungu saidie mtu wako hapa asiitwe mubaba ama mumama hata hujulikani hujulikani fate because mukunga aliiba kitambu na badala akupe akapatia jacobo wewe ukaishi ukiitwa sao the crying boy ama the sao is a lead person lead lead ni nini mtu anakuwa kama kudu kwa nini kwa kulia sana esao aliishi akilia mpaka watoto wake ndio hawa wako seria saa hizi ama the family of just they are even right now punishment mukunga ule alizalisha hivyo mpaka wa leo seria inalia juu ya mkunga a mistaken a damage ilifanywa inafanya mpaka shosho yako walie leo ninaomba kabla damage ifanyike bwana akupatie ulikave kitambo kabla tufuke last year next year 2024 may god help you to recover book pokeni neema ya kulikover book kitabu ya biashara yako kitabu ya afya pokeni neema in jesus name pokeni neema in jesus name watoto wakifanya mtihani vitabu zao za academic isiibiwe isifojiwe katika jina la Yesu wakipita wapite wakifaulu wafaulu yeyote yako kwa engagement bwana asaidie isifujo kama ya mama yako isifujo kama ya baba yako iendelee in Jesus name aliyo mahali hapa anatafuta kazi isifojiwe upite in Jesus name sema kitabu yako nitaipata kitabu yako nita
nitaipata kitabu yangu nitaipata kitabu ya biashara nitaipata kitabu ya amani nitaipata kitabu ya utajiri nitaipata kitabu ya promotion nitaipata kitabu ya maendeleo nitaipata oh rima katarababa ili keterebebe kontoro abia bwana leo ninaomba nifarishe nguo ingine oi bwana wa biguni second chronicles 3424 ya kwaba wakasoma wakasema kitabu ilikuwa ya baba yetu kitabu ya rasi ya biashara kitambu ya afya huyu si mgojoa atapata hiyo kitambo huyu hatakosa jia rima kataraba kantelele abia bwana nisaidie leo eda bereza bwana kuna watu wanataka kuiba kitabu yako kitabu ya kazi sema hawataiba watu wote wanataka kuganga wakupige eda bereza bwana dakika moja tello god I pray Lord I pray my Lord I pray Jehovah Jire Eda bele sabona kuna kitabu ilibiwa wakati mulifurugana wakati mulipitana kuna kitambu ya afya kuna kitambu soma tena bible inasema second chronicles 3424 ya kwaba wakarikava the book was lost the book was stolen and the destiny imekuwa stolen and the maisha yako imekuwa stolen and the peace is stolen every palaka is stolen start recovering now start recovering now and Anza kuipokea leo anza kuipokea leo anza kuipata leo anza kuipokea leo recover us now lord recover wa buku jesus recover my god recover wa buku jesus recover ibakantara recover jehova jire recover my spirit recover my god in the mighty name of jesus ninaomba kurikava kurikava amani kurikava kava maisha kurikava doa kurikava biashara kurikava maraikava kurikava marafiki wa maana kurikava biashara zetu the mighty name of jesus upako wa kwanza kurikava they recover the stolen book they recover the stolen book even you you can pay every destiny was stolen every destiny was stolen every your financial line was stolen it is the day to recover it In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Have a way Lord. Oh, have a way Lord. Have a way. Have a way. Have a way. Hallelujah. Have a way. Have a way. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah have your way my love have your way in my family have your way my love have your way oh i pray today have your way my love have your way oh lord oh lord have your way i struggle in my life Have your way, hallelujah. Have your way, oh Lord. Have your way, oh my God. Have your way, my Lord. Have your way, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Have your way, oh Lord. Kumba ya Allah, kumba ya. your time to have your will have your way my lord have your way oh lord have your way have your way 
2019 ndiyo nipotesa kitambo kitabu inaitago mapenzi kitabu inaito mafanikio kitabu inaito kuendelea God is coming to recover your book Second Chronicles Thank you Holy Spirit Take away Lord Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Hallelujah Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya upendo wako wewe ni mwaminifu, hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe. Pokea sifa na utukufu. Tukuoba baraka na ushidi. Tumwagilie neema yako. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tunaomba na kuamini. Amen.